what's up guys it is early early morning out if you can't tell the sun is starting to little come up a little bit 5 20 in the morning uh got most of the trailer loaded up except for the mowers and uh i'll probably wait another five ten minutes probably around 5 30 then i'll pull the trailer up and load them up and uh start heading to the first property calling for rain so uh we'll see what happens with that hopefully we get some properties done today and it looked like it was going to come in about eight but i think it's going to hold off until uh, it looks like it's going to hold off till probably around the uh noon time lunch time hour sometime so give me about six hours of mowing start my commercial properties uh try to be on them at 6 a.m and mowing at 6 a.m so uh could probably do it before that if i had lights on the mower just nothing i really never thought about doing so we're going to talk a little bit in this about uh how i invoice um, I've had a lot of questions on how I personally invoice, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. And we're going to talk about uh, getting burnt out. Phase three is here, man. This is, this is what I call phase three, and I'll explain that a little bit more in the video. But uh, let's get everything loaded up and get to our first job. All right, so let's talk about phase three. What I mean when I say phase three? Well... My phase three is, uh, phase one is the beginning of the season, okay? Phase one, beginning of the season, you start getting new calls to, to do lawn care, you know, pick up clients. Phase two, right before summer, either A, the client is not happy with their current provider, or B, uh, they just don't want to mow for the summer, so they call you instead. Phase three is right now, you know, uh, the end of July, beginning in the middle of August, uh, you're going to start getting phone calls. People that um, just drop their current provider, uh, ain't happy with their current provider, or just you know hey we need a lawn care company let's let's call somebody uh this is the another phase this is what i consider phase three another busy time phase four would be uh your leaf season time right before leaf season uh aerations things like that you're going to start getting a bunch of calls for for things of that nature so that would be phase four okay so i'll put this in four phases this is this is my four phases um, so now you're at phase three. You're going to start getting phone calls again. People's going, you know, you're going to start noticing uh, more <coughs> calls coming in because of that. So phase three is here. Do not, summer's over. The heat's about gone. Stick it out with me for a little bit longer, guys. Don't let the fat guy out, do you? Okay. Don't let the fat guy out, do you? Stick it out. Uh, it's it's hard, man. It's hard to not get burnt out. It is very hard. But you just take it day by day. Uh, if it's hot out, hey, take take a couple more breaks. You know, don't don't let yourself get burned out. Uh, flat tires happen to everybody. Um, you know, issues arise. They come. They go. It's your mindset that's going to keep you in this business. Your mindset will and can make it or break your company of whether it takes off or it goes under. All in how you take it. So remember that. Always remember what you're doing this for. When you start getting burned out, think of your wife. Think of your, your girlfriend, your fiance, your kids. Uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's hard. I know guys, it's, it's hard. It's very hard. But whenever I start to get burned out, 
I look at it like this. I'm like, you know what? My kids are counting on me. My family's counting on me. Uh, this is, you know, got to keep pushing. You just got to get through them weeks of heat. And once you get through them weeks of heat, it's really not that bad anymore. And you know it's not. You know, it's just that summertime heat will, will get to you. It'll get to you hard and it'll make you really second guess what the hell am I doing? Uh, so, you know, hope that helps. A little bit of just the way I think of things. And uh, so we're just driving to the first property. It is, you know, about six o'clock we'll be there. So let's get going and uh, we will talk some more. So it has been a rainy out, rain out. So uh, since it's a rain out, we're going to, you know, uh, pretty much it's just going to be a talking video. I mean, <sighs> we're going to talk about a lot of the things I get asked. Uh, you know, we're going to talk about what I consider in phase three here, um, invoicing. Uh, things of that but <clears throat> so invoicing when I invoice uh, it really depends on the customer um, you know I've had a lot of people the invoice monthly the invoice weekly do you get paid before uh, it really depends on the property I'm just gonna be honest with you uh, a lot of my properties they pay when the mowing's done um, I've got my commercial properties pay monthly uh, <clears throat> but I've built that reputation with them and my clients just like they have with me so I know I'm gonna get my money you know uh, there's let's say somebody calls and says hey you know I need new service uh, what's it gonna cost me what's it gonna run something like that then after I give them the bid, I let them know with new clients, okay? This is just new clients. I started doing this last year. Uh, I have not had one person turn me down. New clients, I let them know. Uh, it's $40 a week. It's due a month in advance. So if you want me to mow now, uh, you're going to pay me a month in advance. So you're going to pay me for the whole month of whatever, you know, for the whole month of August. And uh, that ensures that, A, you're not playing games with me about, oh, I want to be bi-weekly. The, the thing I had uh, the most, guys, that just irritated me was, yeah, we're looking at weekly service. Okay, well, it's going to be $40 a week. Okay, then you mow them that one week or two weeks and they're like oh thanks we don't need you anymore so to save my hassle and headache I started telling people it requires a month in advance that way I know for at least the next month I am going to be coming out and doing this property or a you're not getting your money back a quote is sent over uh, saying that if they discontinue service uh, then they forfeit the rest of that money <clears throat> so I've never had an issue with people telling me you know I mean all of them say hey that's fine uh, if let's say for instance somebody did have an issue with that what would I do okay well my number one thing is you called me I have my reputation built up on Facebook Google business uh, whatever the case may be you can go find me anywhere and I've got a good reputation so if you can't trust me then I'm probably not the lawn care guy for you anyway uh, my clients trust me with keys to their gates 
Um, you know, I mean, it's locked. Uh, Danny has a key. Uh, Danny shows up. Danny unlocks. Uh, Danny has key keypad codes. Uh, you know, I mean, your clients need to be able to trust you. And if they can't trust you, and you feel like they can't trust you, then it's probably not a good, very good, decent relationship you have anyway. Uh, but anyway, most of my clients that I have, uh, once I tell them, you know, hey, until we establish a, you know, business, uh, until we establish our business together, <clears throat> meaning you're paying on time, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, usually after three months of them paying in advance, I will either bill them, you know, hey, we'll bill you monthly, uh, we'll bill you weekly, uh, you know, what's the best way to, to do it? Do you want to be billed on the 1st, the 15th? Um, I'm pretty easy to get along with, but we're going to, we're going to work up that relationship before it ever gets to that point. So, a lot of my clients, uh, I can't say a lot of them, all of them are great. I have been so lucky to have the clients I have. They understand when it rains, I'm not coming. Uh, they understand um, if it don't need mowing, I'm going to tell them it don't need mowing. I have picked up so much business from people because of honesty and that's what I want my business ran off of is uh, quality not quantity now don't get me wrong I want more properties but I can also be picky about the properties I take and so uh, so that's a good thing so I hope this answered some of the questions you had um, you know, I mean, hey, we got rained out today. It is what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. You know what? I am so happy that I got the properties done that I got done in the six hours. Uh, it was great because last night at like 11 30, 12 o'clock, they were calling for rain uh, 7 o'clock, you know, 6 30, 7 o'clock this morning. So that didn't happen. It ended up coming in about 12.30. So we got to work for about six hours, which is uh, way, way, I'm way thankful for that compared to not being able to do anything today. So, uh, but it's, it's supposed to rain a lot today. Um, it's Wednesday, so uh, the 29th. I'm going to go home. I'm going to edit this video, post it up for y'all. Uh, and you know, I mean, hey, uh, we can talk, talk, talk. Uh, we might do a live tonight, um, specifically about this topic, maybe, uh, just to see, you know, where everybody else stands and to answer some questions for everybody else. So, I know this was kind of a just a talkative video, but I hope it was informative as well on how I do some of the things I do. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I am going to go home, throw this thing on the computer, try to get it edited and uploaded by at least my internet subs. So I might get it done by 5, 36 o'clock uploaded. I don't know. We'll see. So uh, hopefully, hopefully anyway. So rain, 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 rain. My equipment needed washed anyway. I mean, here it is again. Uh, starting rain again. And it's just been raining, raining and raining but you know what we need it we need it bad very very bad so uh i will talk to y'all soon